Got him. Got him. Yeah. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves. Yeah. I just hit up my key for the jewels. Yeah. Ain't no captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been winning for so long, it's hard to lose. All right, guys, we're about to take off and do some fishing for some trouts and some redfish. See you guys in a bit. Looks like the anchor's moving me the opposite direction. Hopefully I'm still in range. I had tried to anchor right in the middle, but the uh, looks like the current's going the opposite direction. I gotta remember that these are trouts. These guys, you gotta, you just gotta let them do their thing most of the time. Small fish. There it is. Not sure how big it is. I don't think my drag's that tight. Yeah. It's a small guy. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh crap, I have a hole in my net. See guys, that's why you gotta subscribe so I can buy a new net. <laughs> All right, hold on, good. He went right through that hole. He looked kind of small, but I don't know. He's at 16 and a half. That's a male. You can tell because he's croaking. So we're gonna let him go. Whenever you get those little bites, guys, and you're reeling in a slow retrieval on the bay bug, don't yank it. Just let, just keep reeling until you feel that solid bite. A lot of the times, they'll 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 nudge it, and you get too excited, you'll pull it, you'll pull it right out of their mouth. See right there. So you gotta wait for that. You gotta wait for that uh that good bite. Not sure how big this one is, but I don't think it's too big compared to the other one. He's not peeling any drag. So he might be a little smaller. Oh, it's two of them. That's why. Oh, one fell off already. One of them came off. It was two speckles on the on the tandem rig. That's why they felt kind of funky. But one of them got away. It got away on this uh, on the new jig that I'm using. So that's now I know from experience. I, I gotta make sure I work. I check this jig out. Right now I'm testing that jig out. It's a new jig that came out recently. I'm just kind of playing with it and seeing if I get any fish on it and if they stay on there. So far it came, one came off. It could be, it could be that it just wasn't hooked correctly. It is a trout after all. Trouts are very, um, trouts are one of those fish that they come off the jig. So we're gonna monitor that. If I keep seeing that fish keep coming off the, the jig, then I know we gotta work on that hook. There you go. Just like that. See, you gotta just throw it right in the light, guys, and you'll you'll catch yourself a, a trout all day. You just gotta throw it in the light because that's that's what illuminates the uh, the bay bug when they glow in the dark. Oh, this is a uh, what is this, ladyfish or a skinny trout? Oh, it's a skinny trout. Anytime that there's fish, there's spotlights at night, cast right into the middle of the light with these bay bugs. And just, uh, this is on the, uh, on the new jig that we're, that we're testing. So that's good. He came right in. All right, relax, bro. Relax, dude. You're too small anyways. I'm gonna let you go. Dude, just chill out. Sharp hook, man.
All right, fellas, so here's another one. And I don't know if you guys like these night fishing videos, guys. You got to let me know in the comments. Um, I'm only coming out here because of my work schedule. Um, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to try to be out early in the morning so you guys can have a, a regular uh, day fishing video. But um, with my schedule, I'm having to fish nights. And this is why I'm coming here to this spot with the bay bug lure. Because it's always loaded with trout. And redfish. I haven't seen any redfish though. I got one here, guys. A small trout, I think. He was on the other light. Yeah. Another small guy. <clears throat> he's skinny. Skinny guy. Yeah, he's got the bay bug lure pretty good. He wasn't going to go anywhere. Trying to catch a keeper though, man. Trying to catch a keeper here. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, he's probably gonna measure like at 16, 15. But he's too skinny though. Too, too skinny. Need a bigger one. A small trout. <laughs> Is it a small ladyfish or what? Oh no, it's a small trout. A small red. <laughs> it's a little, little, cute little red fish. It's probably the smallest red fish I've caught in a while. <coughs> probably measure like at freaking, I don't even know, probably, uh, 10, 8 inches, 10 inches. The grass is where it gets really shallow where I always see redfish. So I'm gonna throw my popping cork on one rod with a shrimp and then I'm gonna throw my bait caster with the jig that it has on. I'm gonna put a, a shrimp on it as well. And we're working with about maybe 9 inches of water right here, maybe 10. But these big slot reds or even the bull reds will hunt in water even in like six inches of water so you never know there might be one lingering around here let's just see if we can find it like right here there's a pothole see how the grass ends right there there's no more grass and then the grass starts again that's a pothole so during the day when you can see that pothole from a distance I just went over I don't know if that was a stingray or a fish that's a bull red right there that's a freaking bull red guys right there let me see if I can throw a shrimp because I just saw him right now again when I had the GoPro off. Oh, he's right here, look. Oh, he didn't want it. Got him, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. 
Got him. Oh. He was coming. He was looking for it. I don't know if he realizes he's hooked. He's not really putting up a big fight. Look at him. Right there. What's up, buddy? Loosen up the drag a little bit here. So he doesn't cut me off. I don't know if he realizes he's hooked yet. He's not really running as much as I thought he was going to run. Oh, yeah. That's a good size redfish right there. He's a big boy, too. Oh, come here. Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. We're not anchored, so that's good. But he hasn't given me a big run yet, so I'm going to work him slowly. Yeah. He might be my first over slot that I'm going to have to tag. He looks pretty big, so he might be my my first one. I don't know what's going on with this other rod that I have here. It's going to get tangled up on my other line. Okay. Let's see if I can... Get my other line. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut it off. Let me cut my other line off, guys. Where are my scissors at? Uh, uh, see if I can get my popping cork. Oh, he's under the kayak. Great. Not what I wanted. Get out of there, bro. He's a big boy, guys, so I'm trying to uh, get him in gently. He hasn't put up a, a big fight yet, and I know that he's going to as soon as he sees my net. I was chasing this guy the whole time, and I turned off the GoPro. Oh, I can't get him because it was low battery. So I'm hoping that I can bring him in, but he's heavy. And he hasn't given me a big run yet, which is surprising. Makes me wonder if he knows he's hooked. He's just kind of swimming back and forth with it. Let me see if I can bring him in here to the net. Oh, come here, bro. Oh, he's strong. Yeah, he's not ready yet. I only have a 20 pound mono on it, so hopefully he doesn't cut me off. Oh, come on. Let's go. Come on. Oh, shit. Wrong way, bro. Oh, right into the net. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, this guy's big. Woo. Man. Oh, man. Oh, he's heavy. Woo. Oh, it's a black drum. No wonder. Oh man, I thought it was a redfish the whole time. No wonder he wasn't running. All right, it's uh, we we were just waiting for this guy, but I mean, again, I thought it was a redfish the whole time, and it was this big old black drum. Look at the size of that boy, guys. He's probably gonna be like 36, 35, so we're gonna release him. But man, look at how big that guy is huge hell yeah it made the night worth it brother <laughs> and me uh, i'm gonna release him right now but oh, damn yeah now you want to fight uh i want to get a good picture with him let me see if i can get my uh my phone out here all right fellas Let's give this guy some oxygen real quick. And then we're gonna let him go, man. I was really hoping he was a big old redfish, but I'll take it, man, I'll take it. You ready, brother? You ready? Whenever you're ready, bro. 
Let me grab you real quick. Just to make sure you, you take off. Let me know when you're ready. I gotta make sure he kicks off, guys. Give me a second. He's turning over. He's kicking, he's just, he was out for a little bit, so. Come on, brother, you're making me look bad here. There you go. Come on. There you go. Come on. There you go. Kick a little harder than that. I'll let you go. Come on. Oh, there you go. My man. Woo. Was worried there for a second. Yeah, he kicked off. He's gone. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be the end of this video. It was great uh, finish. We caught that big old black drum and uh, had a good little fight. It's unfortunate it wasn't a redfish, but it is what it is. Um, I met this guy, Rudy, on the way out. It's a pretty cool guy. And I'm exhausted, a little tired, so I know I'm breathing a little weird. But anyways, that's going to be it, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Comment down below what your best part about the video was. And if you enjoy these night fishing videos, let me know in the comments as well below if you enjoy them or if you'd rather see day, uh, daytime videos. But I'm going to go ahead and take off, guys. I'm going to wrap it up. Kayaks are already in the truck. And I'm going to go ahead and take off. See you guys in the next one.